Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Frank's here with another opportunity to bring you the latest in Rust development news. And in the last 24 hours, this has word onto the staging branch for testing. The new player piloted attack chopper has now arrived, faster and easier to fly than a mini, and rammed the rotors with features. It's only on staging right now, so take everything I tell you about it with a massive subject to change pinch of salt. But here are all the details as they stand. You can get one at the Airwolf vendor for a mere 2,250 scrap. <laughs> That's inflation for you, but just wait until you see what you can do with them. Just like a mini, they seat two, a pilot and gunner, but although it looks like you could get a couple of extra people to stand on each side, there's no parenting so you'll have a job staying on. The pilot has access to a compass, altimeter and fuel gauge, and there are some lights on the front to supposedly give a better view during those nighttime excursions, but which are currently about as bright as the one in a Ford Mondeo's glove box. The gunner, when using weaponry, gets a computerized view, which I'm assured is going to be a higher resolution than it is currently, and can use rockets with the right mouse button and the front turret with the left, which will auto-reload. And this is where the chopper is highly customizable, because from the outside, and the outside only I might add, you can insert anything into the turret that you'd be able to in a normal one, including, yes, a Neoka, and thankfully, even a trumpet. And if you're keeping the neighbours awake. And the rocket pods, which incidentally share an inventory, will accept HV and incendiary it seems at the moment and nothing else. It's also up to the pilot to own these as they're fixed. Also, right now, and I'm not sure if it'll stay this way, there's no way for the gunner to swap between different ammo types. At least, not that I've found. Now, I'll probably have to end up apologising for getting this wrong next week. Fuel-wise, it runs on low grade, can be repaired with metal frags, and has 850 health, so only slightly more than a mini, but it does offer a lot more protection for the passengers. It seems that next month's patch is shaping up to be some kind of air-based update, as not only is the new chopper on staging now, but word on the street is that some new items are being planned as a countermeasure. For instance, as mentioned last week, there was word of a homing missile launcher, and even the hot air balloon appears to be getting some armour. Not quite sure how that's going to look, but hey-ho. Also, also, the end of wipe flybys are getting some attention with a new model for the planes, which will hopefully look a bit more Top Gun and less mission implausible. Let me know your thoughts on all the above in the comments below, please. <coughs> now to other changes, and oh dear, it didn't take you long to get sent to the naughty step, did it? Skin tones for the emojis are being taken away already due to some people using them a bit too creatively, shall we say, which absolutely nobody saw coming whatsoever and from now on it's Simpsons all the way! <laughs> Hooray! There are some stack size adjustments coming, namely water purifiers and pumps increasing to 3 each and fluid switches going up to 5, and a branch called Boats at World Edge seems to aim not only to stop boats actually reaching the edge of the server world by repelling them, but also to stop people camping at the edge of the map by making unattended boats slowly drift back to shore. Now if only there was an invention that could keep boats in one place. Someone should really get to work on that, they'd make a fortune. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this does mean you might find some interesting flotsam ending up on your local beach. Two stuff being worked on further out now, and there are several interesting branches to keep an eye on. It looks like, finally, after many years of teasing, the team are working in earnest on backpacks. You may remember this was a Hack Week project most recently, but it seems that it will soon be a reality. The exact functionality of them still being ironed out, but as far as I can see, they'll drop off of you when you die. Not sure if that means there'll be two backpacks on the ground eventually or not. And there's mention of yellow and orange variants, so there may be a slight visibility trade-off. Potentially. I mean, it's all subject to change, innit? As well as this, there's more work on the Skin Viewer, again, a Hack Week project that should let you preview skins before applying them to things. Also, a Torch 2 branch that I'm assuming is for a refresh to the existing basic Torch model with better effects, etc. Lots and lots of other things being worked on, of course, that if you're following along, you'll know about, including, but not limited to, the Nexus system, clan tables, global networked bases, Two more new building skins, Brutalist and Frontier, Weapon Racks and Parachutes, so plenty to look forward to, and you know I'll bring you all the news as and when it lands on my doorstep, so stay tuned, sub to the channel, and if you enjoyed this update, Slice, then please leave me a like. And wait, hold the front door, what's this? A commit pops up just as I'm editing about a scrap plane. No info on this right now, apart from what you can see here. 
Guess I'll be able to tell you more next week, hopefully. You are now up to date, so please let me know what you think of this week's stuff. Come and join me on Twitch for streams. You'll find links to all my socials below, including my Steam group, where you can stay updated on my content. And if you'd like to support me, you can do so with super thanks, YouTube memberships, and on Patreon. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Hooray!